guys today i want to discuss gas scale 2.3 question so in this a mono atomic ideal gas has been tra- taken through three processes and we have to calculate volume b and total work done so first we'll calculate the number of moles using the ideal gas equation pv equals to nrt so we are given the initial state properties pressure volume and temperature and with that i calculate the number of moles now we will draw a schematic of the thermodynamic processes that the ideal gas has been taken through so we'll draw a p versus v diagram in that it's taken through a isothermal expansion from 1 liter to 2 liters after that it has been compressed at constant volume to a volume b then it has been taken to an ideal adiabatic process where it reaches the initial state so we have these three properties for the these pro, these three processes the k is constant so now we have p1 v1 and temperature we have p2 v2 and t2 so for isothermal process p1 v1 equals to p2 v2 that gives v2 is nothing but half atmospheres now we will find volume b so for that we will use the adiabatic compression process so we know for adiabatic expansion or compression p1 v1 power gamma is constant so what is gamma so for mono atomic ideal gases like helium xenon neon argon krypton which are noble gases we have a mono atom which moves in three linear transitions along x y z directions so the degree of freedom is 3 So the gamma is one plus two by degree of freedom, which is five by three for the mono atomic gas. Now we will use that equation to get the volume V, which is one point five two liters. Now we will find the work done. for isothermal expansion which is given by nrt ln v2 by v1 so that i'll put this data and i'll get 70.3 joules now for the constant pressure process the volume the work done is nothing but p into delta v so i will get in 0.24 liter atmospheres which i will convert into joules by using the gas constant so i have the gas constant in joule per mole kelvin and liter atmosphere per mole kelvin and i will obtain the work done in joules now for the adiabatic compression process the heat transfer is zero so the from the first law of thermodynamics for a reversible process delta u is nothing but minus w so the work done is nothing but minus delta u so i'll use minus ncv t1 minus t3 so the t3 is 282 kelvin from that i'll get the work done So the total work done is the sum of all three work done, which I'll get 8.7 joules. So for the CV, we should know a relation. 
CP minus CB is R and CP by CB is comma. So we'll use CP is equals to 5 by 3 times CB. So we'll have CB is to 1.5 R and CB, CP is 5 by 2 R. So this is for a monoatomic ideal gas. Please remember this. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, please do comment so that I can make better content. Thank you.